Hi everyone, this is Sanaya and I'm with you on a new episode of Live Life by Design. Today I'd like to talk to you about making things more difficult than they need to be. I get this question a lot. Why are things so hard for me? Why is everything so difficult? Why me? Why can't things be easier? And I always smile when I get that question because I know that whoever is asking me that question is making things difficult on themselves. They're making it much harder than it needs to be. I find that when you actually stop and think about the problem or the challenge, if you think through it carefully, you'll actually come up with a good solution. But you need to stop, you need to take stock, you need to evaluate, you need to think it through. One of the best methods of coming up with a solution to any problem is to think about it before you go to bed. So when you're about to go to sleep, think about whatever challenges in your life, anything that needs a solution. Put it out there to the universe. I actually like to do it in meditation. I put the thought out there and I ask my mind to come up with a better solution. Then I go to bed at night. Over the course of my sleep, uh, my subconscious mind will actually get into that problem and when I wake up in the morning it's like an answer just pops into my head. So our subconscious mind is much more powerful than our conscious mind. When we actually give our subconscious mind a challenge to ponder upon it will actually come back to you with a very good solution. Now most of the time challenges in our life happen because we're resisting the change. Change can be as easy or as difficult as we make it. If we don't resist the change and we kind of flow with it, we allow it to come about or we just go with it, you know, without any resistance, without any negative emotions, then change can be very, very easy. It's when we put up a defense or we resist or we are upset, frustrated or angry about it, then that change becomes difficult. It's always up to us whether we do things the hard way or the easy way. For example, I live in Manila and let's say I wanted to get to Boracay. So if I want to get from Manila to Boracay, I could take, let's say, a boat. That might take me nine hours. If I took a bus, a train, and then a boat, that would take me even longer. I could fly and then it would only take me 30 minutes, assuming there are no delays, of course. The same way in life. When we need to get anywhere, or we have any goals to achieve, or we want to get from one place to another, we can take the shortcut, or we can take the long way. We can make it easy, we can make it comfortable, or we could be very uncomfortable. It's really up to us. So my advice to you is always look for the best way to get to any point. Do you want to be happy, relaxed, comfortable, looking forward to something? Or do you want to be angry and frustrated and annoyed and resisting? It's really up to you to react to any situation in the way that you feel is most appropriate for you. Personally, I like to think that every opportunity, every situation, every challenge, every experience that I have is up to me to take something positive out of it. It may come in the beginning seeming like a problem, but if I look at it as an opportunity to learn or to get something positive out of it, then it becomes easy and it becomes a positive experience. So we have the ability to take any negative situation and turn it into a positive just by looking for the opportunity, just by looking for the lesson or the learning or how we can improve ourselves because of that situation. Sometimes our hardships are really just opportunities to grow and evolve and be better than we were yesterday. It's how you take it. So remember, things don't have to be hard. They can be easy. You just have to choose it. And you have to allow your mind to work for you. Think through that problem, that challenge. Come up with a better way. Come up with a solution that's a win-win for everybody involved. And take the time to think through it. Send a message out to the universe before you go to bed to help you out. And your subconscious mind will really support you with some positive ways to deal with any uh, challenge or difficult time in your life.
catch me every Friday on IGTV, releasing a new episode every week.